everybody! Welcome back! Um, we're going to keep going with quotient rule problems. This one is a little bit different. Um, it is f of x equals 1 over x plus 1 minus 1 over x minus 1. Um, let's go ahead and write out um, the quotient rule so that we have it here for reference. It is d of x, f of x over g of x equals f prime of x, g of x minus f of x, g prime of x over g of x squared. And um, all this means is, is um, when you're trying to take the derivative, that's what d of x stands for, of a function with f of x on the top and g of x on the bottom. So like in our problem, f of x here is 1, g of x is x plus 1. Um, you use this formula to take the derivative. So this problem is slightly different because we have to apply quotient rule first to this, 1 over x plus 1, and then to this, 1 over x minus 1. So let's just go ahead and um, go through this. The derivative, of course, we call f prime of x equals. So we're just going to look at 1 over x plus 1 first. So let's do that. Um, and remember, 1 is f of x here because they're on the top and x plus 1 is g of x because they're on the bottom. So we're going to apply the quotient rule to this, 1 over x plus 1. So the first thing is f prime of x, which means the derivative of f of x, the top here, 1. So the derivative of 1 being a constant is 0. So we have 0, and then let's go ahead and say um, g of x, which is just x plus 1, so 0 times x plus 1, and then we say uh, minus f of x, which is 1, the top here, times um, g prime of x, or, or the derivative of g of, x, g of x, which is the derivative of the bottom, which is just 1. So um, we, we did the top, and now we need to divide by the bottom squared, which is x plus 1, and then squared. So we've gone ahead already and, and applied quotient rule to, um, to this function, to this fraction here. So now we need, to, we need to apply it to this fraction. So we've done that. We say minus, which I'm grabbing from here, and then go through it again. So the derivative of the top, 1, is 0 times, we leave the bottom intact, x minus 1, minus, which I'm pulling from here, the top, f of x, which is 1, times the derivative of the bottom, g of x, and the derivative of that is 1. The derivative of x minus 1 is 1. And then we divide by um, the bottom squared, which, so that's x minus 1, so times x minus 1 squared. Okay, so we have applied quotient rule first to 1 over x plus 1, and then to 1 over x minus 1. This is the part for x plus 1, the 1 over x plus 1, this is the part for 1 over x minus 1, and we're subtracting uh, this one from this because uh, it tells us to subtract here. So we've got our whole formula written out, and now all we need to do is simplify this. So let's go ahead and simplify. Um, 0, of course, gets rid of this whole thing because it's multiplied by 0. Same here, this whole thing is going to cancel because it's multiplied by 0. So 1 times 1, of course, is just 1, so we're going to end up with a negative 1 on top over here, and then we can say over um, an x plus 1 squared. You could multiply it out, but this is simpler just to leave it this way. And then over here, um, we'll, we'll put the minus sign from here, and then we have um, 1 times 1 is 1, so this is a negative 1 on top here, so we can say negative 1 over... Um, x minus 1 squared. So the only other thing that we want to do um, is we have minus and then a negative. So those are going to, to cancel each other out and become a positive. 
So I'm going to go ahead and erase that one and make this a positive. And then the only other thing I'd like to do is actually flip these because, um, because if you can, you don't usually like to lead uh, the, the entire function with a negative sign. We've got a negative here. So I'm going to flip these so that we've got the, the positive in front so we don't have to lead with the negative. So this is actually just going to become, I'm going to write um, this one first. So it's going to be 1 over x minus 1 squared and then we'll subtract, because we have the negative sign here, minus 1 over x plus 1 squared. x plus 1 squared. Um, so this is, a, this is as simple as we're going to get here. Um, we apply quotient rule to our function, first to, for, first to this fraction and then to this one, simplified, and this right here is going to be our final answer.